Right everyone, my hair's a bloody mess again, as you can see, but I've got a very good excuse today. Today is my birthday, so thank you. All please say happy birthday to me. Okay, if you don't say it, that's not very nice. But anyway, that's not what this is really about. I've been buying a lot of things recently with money that I shouldn't be spending, but I did. And um, short story, basically, you know, compressed here for you all. I've got a lot of stuff here, and you guys are going to be pretty interested to what I bought, because I bought a lot of things in different categories of gaming. Um, I've got things from different stores here, and I think it would be very appropriate for me to go um, in different orders with these, because I don't know which I want to talk about first, because they are in different categories. So, um, short story, basically, we're going to go with the games I bought from a store called Disc Replay, which is an amazing store, and if you have one near you, you should go to it soon. Very good store. They've got some very killer prices and some killer games. So in this bag right here, as you can see, which has got disc replay, no it doesn't. It's just a plain bag, uh, which is unfortunate. But anyway, uh, if anything, it says thank you. Oh, so it's a bag that says thank you, but doesn't say disc replay, unfortunately. So I've got my receipt here, so in case I need help with the prices. But um, basically, I got all these games, buy two, get one free, no matter the price. Um, so that was really cool. And uh, basically, it came out to really work in my um, advantage. So, the first games I've got, we're going to try to categorise these because the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, as well as uh, Game Boy Advance. So, I'm going to try to put this in a good order for you all. So, for Game Boy games, since they came out first, I've got Blades of Steel for the Game Boy. Not Game Boy Color, but Game Boy. Uh, I've got Jurassic Park, uh, The Chaos Continues Part 2. Can you see that for $1.99? Uh, both those games for $1.99, so Blades of Steel is $1.99 too. Cubers, which is $3.99, very good price for that. Jurassic uh, Park The Lost World, $3.99. I was really taking a limb on some of these games, especially Jurassic Park, because a lot of those are halfway good, halfway bad games. It really just depends. Um, one of them for the PlayStation we'll talk about in a different review soon. Uh, Tetris, which is the, one, the best selling game, I believe, for the Game Boy, if I'm not right, for $5.99. Very cool. And I probably got that one for one of my free games. I might have. We'll see. I don't really know. But anyway, uh, Game Boy Colors. I picked up a game I used to have. Uh, Wild Thornberry's uh, Ramp... Ramp... What is it called? Ra Wild Thornberry's Rampage... Rampage? I don't know what it says because it's uh, blocked. I had two games of these and both of these are no good anymore. They both work, but go figure this. They don't actually play, so... Uh, unfortunately, you can play the game, but you'll be frozen when you first play, put the game on. So you can press start, you'll see your character, and it just freezes. That's all it ever did. I don't know why. So you had to pick up another one of these, and it's a really good game. Uh, you'll find it extremely cheap, and it's a very good game. Also, if you haven't seen my Harry Potter review of the Chamber of Secrets game for the Game Boy Color, um, go watch it, because I actually found it for $1.99 at Disc Replay. Um, and I think that's a killer price. I mean, it's amazing. But you can buy that game for two bucks. One of the best games I've ever played of all time for two bucks. And it's a great game. If you like Harry Potter, if not, that's cool too. It's a great thing for your Game Boy uh, Color. Also, one of my other favorite games for the Game Boy Color, I picked this up a couple days ago, uh, although I didn't make a video. Kind of glad I didn't because I bought so much, which would be Pokemon Trading Card Game uh, for $3.99. Uh, very good game, amazing price. You'll never find it that cheap usually, so that's really cool. All three of these games I just took a complete limb on. And I bought a game here apparently that I didn't realise I bought, so that's great too. Hopefully this is a good game because I did it on accident. Um, TMNT, I didn't mean to buy this one, but for three ninety nine, uh, it's a killer price. And you can see they either bought it from yeah they bought it from GameStop, uh, whoever had this originally, used for uh, nineteen ninety nine. So we got a killer price for three ninety nine, and that's really cool. And I probably got one of those as free too. Um, the next two I got would be Jurassic Park Builder for $1.99, which makes me think this is one of the worst Jurassic Park games of all time, probably. But it might be a hidden gem, you never know, so I had to pick it up. Um, considering that Harry Potter there was only $1.99 too, so whatever, it might be good. Serious Sam for the Game Boy Advance, as well as I've never played these, so tell me. If you've seen any of these games that I said I didn't really know much about, please leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of these games what you like about them, what you didn't like about them. And if you want me to do reviews of these or talk about them more, more in depth once I get down to playing them, please do tell me. Um, I've got a lot of games here and I'm really happy with the price. Um, totally, out of all that stuff, it came down to um, 40 bucks, uh, no, grand total of 28.34. Um, and that's dollars, yes it is. 
Um, very cool though. 2834 got me. I don't even know how many games this is. This is a lot of games though. Um, got me all those games. So that's really cool. Uh, you can't go wrong with all these. I did pick up something at Toys R Us that any Star Wars fan out there is just going to kill me for the price that I got these for. And I nearly, I mean, I was like flabbergasted because I planned to buy these and I find them for 298. All of these, well, not all of these, but each one of them is 298. That's amazing. And you just can't find these games for 298. I will give you a hint of what they are. Walmart sells these and so does Target in packs of three, part of the Star Wars collection. Um, series, there's three different box sets and they're like $29, which is good too, but considering I bought these for $2.98 that's amazing, so the best one I bought probably would be Star, uh, Star Wars, uh, what's it called Republic Commando or something, yeah I played this game on the Playstation 2 or the Xbox when it first came out and I love this game so for the PC, all these are for the PC, but for the PC I really wanted this and this is so cool so I got this for $2.98 also for 298, I picked up two games that I was really excited to play, and I was going to play it, I think, on the PlayStation 2, and that would be the Jedi Knight series. I got Jedi Knight the Academy, I think this is the first one, if you can see that. Uh, was it called? Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, that's one, and then I got part two. Um, what's this one called? Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast. Um, one thing you're going to notice that's funny about this is, if you look at the book, it's placed in backwards compared to this one right here, which looks normal. So can you see what I'm saying? Uh, hold on. You see? So that's what I thought was kind of funny. Um, they're all like that. I have no idea why this one was placed that way. So when I open it up, I will, you know, change it. Because it's upside down as well, um, if you can see. So that's pretty cool, too. Um, also, I picked up one of the games. I could have picked up part one of this as well. But I chose not to, because part two is just as good, if not better. And that would be Star Wars Battlefront 2. Very cool game to have, and it's amazing that I found it for 298. I have it on the Xbox, but it's cool to have it on the PC as well. Because now maybe someone's going to play it online, and I might have a chance to actually enjoy the game for its full potential, since I never did back in the day. Another cool two games I got in one for 298 called Star Wars Ga uh, Gal What's it called? Gal Galactic Battlegrounds, uh, made by uh, Saga. I think. Um, it's a strategy, kind of real-time strategy game, I believe. Um, I've never heard of it, I've never played it, I'm very excited, very, very cool. So, I know what you're all wondering, why didn't I tell you about the other things I picked up at Toys R Us if I was going to show you these? The reason for it is the things I picked up at Toys R Us, go, they're accessories that go along with a new system I bought. And now a lot of you are going to already know what it is, if you keep up to my channel you know what I bought. And I've been, you know, hemping about this for the longest time. And I finally did buy it. I haven't actually played much of it. I've turned it on. I've played it for a reason. You know, just to see if it worked. And I'm, I've experienced a little bit of it. I'm very, very happy I've bought it. And um, all this has been spoiling for my birthday, as you can see. Um, and I picked up one game with it. Which, I don't know if it's the right game for me. The first game for the system kind of thing. But, I don't know. I really wanted to get something that was going to use the full potential of the system, however I don't think there is a game out there to fully do that and have a good game at the same time, if that makes any sense. And that would be for the system I chose, which is 3DS, and it's black. And it's a little bit smaller than the European boxes, and that's because there's less um, basically text inside it for you all to read for the European countries. So the American version's a little bit more compacted, which is cool. And um, opening it up, you can see I have everything basically in here. And I've only barely opened this thing. I mean, I looked into it and that was it. And I'm really, we, you know, it's really funny about this that compared to Nintendo, uh, when I bought my DSi and everything else I've ever bought from Nintendo, they never had the books like without tape on them. Usually they're folded over in tapes, just like Apple does. However, they were not. Um, I don't know if anyone else had that before, like that too. I thought that was kind of interesting. And then you can see it's all basically the same way it was when I bought it. And um, it's really cool. It's a little bit set, it's set up a little bit differently, the box set, uh, than the European uh, boxes. That's why I've kind of shown this, because I know I have a lot of European viewers from back home and stuff, and uh, friends and family uh, that know me as well. So it's really cool to have that, and um, appreciate you all for watching that. But you know what? I'm not done, and I want to tell you why. I did pick up a game, and the game is Rayman 3D, 3DS. 
Now this is a port of Rayman 2, which is also the same basic game as Rayman DS, if I remember right. Um, I don't really like Rayman that much, would you believe it? I have Rayman 3, I've played Rayman DS, I got rid of it a long time ago when I got rid of my original DS, and now I have this. So, unfortunately I've never played Rayman 3, and I've never got past the tutorial on Rayman DS. Well, I figured, you know, maybe with the 3D this would be a good pickup. So I bought this instead of Pilot Wings, and we're going to see if I really enjoy it. And I'm not done yet, you know, I know I keep hemping and going on and on and on, but I've got two accessories that I haven't seen anyone do a little review of yet, so I'm kind of interested. I've got a uh, Traveller Mini Elite Transporter case, and I could have bought the big thing, but instead I bought this. Um, it says Nintendo 3DS, which is cool. And um, I open this up, and it's a little flap. I've got little space here, probably for my power ca cables and stuff like that, if you can see it. And then open it up, there's a little zipper, there's two zippers here. Um, you could put some stuff in here, probably like headphones or something in here, I don't really know what you could put in there. Styluses, something, or styli, I don't know. Um, anyway, and then you can put your DS in here, which is really cool, it's got a fabric that's supposed to clean it as you slide it in. Um, much like a polyester, but a little bit nicer. And um, then you have to pull this down. But you can store your games in the back of it, and then you can store up to, uh, what was it here, we got rows of, oh, so you can store 12 games, sorry about that. You can store 12 games in this little mini thing, and that's amazing considering there's not even 12 games for the market yet. So it's quite cool to have, and a very good thing to have for a startup case. And this run me 1689, which is really cool as well. And the big thing that I got that I was really excited about that I bought uh, from Toys R Us as well, which was the comfort grip for the 3DS. This is really helpful. I thought this would be good, and better for like a racing game or for like uh, pilot wings. So when I do buy that, I might use this a lot more. Or when the 3DS uh, starts releasing 3D videos, this will be a very helpful tool. Um, the basic idea is you can actually just set it down and you can play with it like a uh, arcade stick kind of, or just play with it or watch movies or something. And it's really cool. Um, you can pick it up and play with it, I believe. And uh, it's really, really cool. It's made of silicone and um, it's really durable. So it's also supposed to protect your system, sort of. Um, I don't think you can close the system while this is on. So you see how the picture has it open. I don't know if you can adjust it or not, but um, it's freaking cool, though. It, it really is. And for 1689 again, this was a really good buy. So it's the day after my birthday, which is the 8th. And what did I pick up? And two more games. I picked up Street Fighter 4 and Pilot Wing Resort. Can you see? Yes, you can. I've actually started playing this one and I'm very big into it. It's amazing. Uh, it's a great game. I never can take this seriously. I think it's a very funny kind of game. But it's a good game and it's definitely recommended to anyone who owns a 3DS. This is a great game and I think it's better than the console version for the fact of the 3D depth. And that is the only reason why I would say so. And the joystick being on the 3DS so good that you have to actually use it. Um, also, I have played Pilot Wings Resort on um, the demo, and I've really enjoyed the 3D depth to it. However, this is still sealed, so I have not really played the game too much other than the demo. I will get back to you on all that, but before we go, I figured it would be a little bit better to tell you about the things that I've already played. Every game I bought um, in my Game Boy Color, Game Boy, and Game Boy Advance was amazing. Um, it was really cool because every one of those games was really good, and I really enjoyed it for what I played of it already. Uh, I think Serious Sam was the most amazing for the Game Boy Advance, I thought was great. The only bad game was probably Jurassic Park The Lost World for the Game Boy. This is an awful game, and I would definitely probably end up doing a review one day of this is a bad game. Horrible game. But you know what, I took a risk for 3 dollars I didn't lose too much. But the best thing had to be the full script. That was the most amazing thing for the 3DS, and it's a must have for anyone out there. The full script for the 3DS is by far the best product for the accessories of the 3DS. The travel pack I have not used yet, but by far the force grip, that is so cool. It makes you really feel like you have a controller, and it really just feels awesome. There's no words to describe how good the force grip is, and for 698 or 89 whatever I bought it for, it's amazing. I mean, at that price, you must buy it. If you're a 3DS owner and you do not buy one, you are a total idiot. So, just a quick recap here for everyone. I've got an amazing deal. This was a great pickup, and if you missed the beginning of this video because I ranted too much, you're a fucking idiot. But yes, I know my hair's messed up, don't make fun of me for it. It's my birthday. Leave a comment saying happy birthday, goddammit. 
hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I've enjoyed making it for you. I've enjoyed buying all this stuff. And yeah, I'm trying to do a giveaway video. So if I get some more subscriptions here and you guys start supporting me more, I will do a giveaway because I've got a lot of things that are game related that just don't fit in my collection. I really want to get rid of them and someone may find use to them. So hinting off, uh, the one thing I can tell you that I definitely want to get rid of, the three things I definitely want to get rid of on my Nintendo and two Playstations and I've got a bunch of other things I want to get rid of as well um, just because they're so freaking big in my collection I mean it just stands out you know I've got all these games and I picked up so many I haven't even played yet and all these that I've just played picked up now hope you've enjoyed this video and yes please give me some subscriptions and some ports tell me what you think of all the things I've done in this video all the things that I've bought um, hope you've enjoyed this man this is a huge pickup maybe my biggest pickup yet so, thank you all for watching, everyone. It's Mr. Zero X out.